Hey guys, there's a whole lot of thoughts and opinions on Snap-on tools. Well, here's mine. You take a look. Man in the country that I know. No money in what he used to grow. No, he don't care what people think. When a farmer turns into a hippie, times a hard Mississippi. What's going on YouTube? Today I wanted to make a video because I sure don't want anybody to think that I'm just a snap-on snob. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of the ratchets that I have. You know, uh, I've said before that I use mostly half-inch drive stuff, so that's 99% of our go-to. You may not be able to tell it by looking at the table because I've got one, two, three, Four, five half inch and the three eighths I got one two three four five six seven now I own a lot more than what I've got laid out here but this is kind of like the most diversity of the brand if you will <coughs> one of the things that I want to talk to you about is these two ratchets here these two three eighths ratchets they're very 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 similar um, this one, of course, is a snap-on. This one is a Pittsburgh Harbor Freight. Here's another one that I can throw in there side by side. You can see there's not much difference at all between the ratchets. Now, this is also a snap-on. This was my first snap-on ratchet that I ever got. Um... You know, it ain't really the, I'm going to say this, and I hope I don't offend anybody, but the tool does not make the person or it don't define the person working on the equipment. This here is a Cobalt, one of the zero degree ratchets, the gearless ones. That's a great ratchet. Here's one of my very first ratchets that I ever got. It's a Craftsman. I mean, it's old but it still works, you know. Here's a great neck. And this one here, it's so cheap, it don't even have a name on it. Like, but it works, you know. So, here's my view on it. I don't care if we got a mechanic in the shop and he knows how to fix stuff. I don't care if his toolbox is full of this. That's not an issue. That don't mean that he is not as good a mechanic. You know, um, like Bill, for example. Bill has got a very nice Matco box. And Bill's got it full of a bunch of Matco and Snap-on tools. Now, does the guy that owns this set of, you know, tools, does that mean he's not as good a mechanic as Bill? Probably not. Or maybe he's even better. Who knows? So the tools don't make him any better. The reason why I choose Snap-on over, like, let's say the Pittsburgh, for example. Let's get all these out of the way. The reason why I choose to use Snap-on over Pittsburgh is for the, the simplicity and the easiness because my guy comes to me. Does that mean that this ratchet's not as good as this ratchet? I don't know. I ain't never broke either one of them. So I can't answer that. Um, they're both great ratchets. This is a 25 buck ratchet, $25. So do I think it's worth the money? Absolutely. I've never broke it. Um, but I do know that if it does go down, if this ratchet does break, I've got to leave the shop. I got to drive to Tupelo, which is the closest Harbor Freight store. And that's about 34, 35 miles. Then I gotta exchange it, and then I gotta drive back. Now granted, that's not an issue because if this one breaks and I had to use this one or this one or this one, who really gives a crap? I, it don't matter. I could have bought 10 of these for what I gave for this one. So would I have been better off to bought 10 of these versus one of these? Probably so. 
But anyway, if this one fails, my guy comes to the shop, he hands me another one or fixes it, whatever the case may be, that's a done deal. I don't have to worry about going anywhere. But, you know, with this one, I'd have to drive to Tupelo, swap it out, and go again. For example, this ratchet and this ratchet, both half-inch drives, you know, this one is a snap-on, this one is a Harbor Freight. There's not a whole lot of difference between the two. This is a $260 ratchet. This one is a $30 ratchet. Now, I use this one a lot still, even though I've got snap-on stuff. I like the length of it. I use it to change oil, mostly what I use this ratchet for. Um, you know, this one is a little bit longer, as you can tell. So, I use this one a lot of times to do a little bit bigger stuff, but I still use this Pittsburgh daily, especially changing oil on the truck. It's a perfect size for that. If this one fails, you know, I've got others to choose from. The handles aren't as long, but I mean, you can put a cheater pipe on there. Like this is old bluegrass. I've had it for a long time. My uncle gave me this ratchet when I was probably 15 year old. So that's a fine ratchet. This is an old Craftsman, and there's nothing wrong with Craftsman at all, nothing. Craftsman are fine tools. Um, this here is another Cobalt, it's a good ratchet. But the thing is, the whole purpose I wanted to make this video is I'm, I see a lot of technicians that's in school or, or younger guys just starting out, and they think if you don't have the snap-on tools, that they're not gonna get a job or they're not gonna be accepted in the shop that they work in and that's definitely not the case. Um, one of the best mechanics I ever knew worked on tractors for a living. And this guy could fix anything with extremely limited resources. Now he didn't have name brand tools like he carried this kind of stuff. You know, that he could pick up at Napa for about 25 bucks a set. The old guy didn't even have a toolbox. He throwed his stuff in a five gallon bucket and toted it in a five gallon bucket. So, and he was a fantastic mechanic. Why he didn't have other tools, I don't know. I didn't really care because he was the guy that fixed her tractors. He kept everything going. But, you know, if you can afford this, that's great. If you can afford this, that's great too. Because this will fix anything this will. There's no difference. You know, for us here, I know a lot of my videos, you guys see us using Snap-on and talking about Snap-on. But the whole reason is my guy will come here and replace this one where I don't have to leave. Because our closest store to even have a craftsman fixed is about 30 35 miles the same way with cobalt you know and it's just easier when my guy pulls up to the shop and i hand him this ratchet he can go out there and rebuild it or whatever they had to do i've never had one fail so i do not know what the process is um i'm assuming they put new guts in it <clears throat> but I've never had one fail, so I can't answer that question for you guys. But nevertheless, that's why we choose, you know, most of the time we're going to grab a snap-on if it's in the box versus any other brand just because if there is a failure and we still don't sweat it if it is, we've got plenty more to choose from. And this is just some out of my box. It's not even getting into Bill's box, so... If we break every damn ratchet that we've got before we get our job done, we probably shouldn't have been working on it to start with. Anyway, that's my video today. Just wanted to kind of throw that out there that, you know, I'm definitely not a snap-on hog. I'm uh, very diverse in the brands that we have and the brands that we use. And you guys can see this one has had quite a bit of use on it. And it's uh, Harbor Freight. So... Anyway, 
that's my video for today. If you guys like it, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down there below. Y'all have a great one. We'll catch you next time.